Okay, so I, I appreciate you taking the time to, for doing this today. Sure. And uh, I, I enjoyed this series as much as you can enjoy it. I, I mean, it's a, it's a difficult one to, uh, you kind of have to push through it at times. Um, but there is a lot there to, you know, to, uh, to process and to, to work on. So I, I did appreciate that. Um, you've been working in acting, you've been an actor for decades, for like over four decades. What drew you to it? I don't know. I, I think, um, I always, um, I think I like the fact that, that there's a mutual understanding between an actor and a, there can be if an actor is on to something between an audience and an actor that there's a connection there uh and i think i felt that when i was even very young um doing i used to do like in junior high school i would do a play and, and if an audience would laugh you'd think oh my gosh they understand where what i'm doing and so i don't know it's just something that i always I, I I couldn't write, I couldn't paint, I couldn't dance, I couldn't sing. So I think this is the the outlet that I chose. Um, I always like the idea of that that there's some kind of common humanity that we all understand. It doesn't matter where you're from or what, but it, and and if you connect with that as an actor, it's it's an amazing feeling to have. Yeah, you know, you're very open. It's very it's open, kind of naked, and. Um, you know, to have somebody say, I, I understand, you know, I got that. That was, you know, or that moved me or that was interesting. And they, yeah. So there's, that's probably the best answer I could give. Now, yeah. And then when people, when the audience is willing to try something new, that's when the empathy kicks in and you can start to, you know, if you can make that connection, you can start connecting with people who didn't think they, you know, were similar, couldn't see the similarities. Well, that, which that is often. Yeah. Yeah. Which is what drew me to Dahmer is that the kind of, uh, you know, the, the effect it had on his family and what his family was dealing with, with this guy. Because, you never, I never thought about his parents when I, when mm -hmm. the news came out of this guy and what he did. Um, but this series really looked at those folks and said, this, you know, this, the, the, the misery spread far and wide in this uh, story. Was there any reluctance to taking on the role because of the subject matter? Um, well, yeah. When <laughs> um, Brian called and asked me to do it, I went, oh, God. Uh, I, and he said, just read it. Re read three episodes. So I read the three episodes and I immediately wanted to do it. Because I, like everybody else, didn't think of what... Jeffrey Dahmer's father was who he was, you know, what he went through um, uh, until I read the scripts. And then then it became human for me. It became a story, not just about it, not about, you know, Jeffrey Dahmer eating people, but it became about the the, uh, the wide effects, the, the far reaching effects of his acts and, and how they uh, how they ruined not just the lives of those who died, but the people around them and how they changed so many lives uh, for the worse. So it and, and I thought it was fascinating that it went on longer than it needed to, and I I don't think that's something that people knew about. Yeah, Downer became kind of a punchline, you know, for a while. And uh, when you watch this, you you know, I I'm sure I've made Downer jokes, you know, 20 years ago. Um, it seemed everyone was like even on like late night shows and and you know and and. Uh, Stand-up routines, but then when you see this, it really brings and reinjects the humanity and, and the heaviness of the situation to it, and that it's not just like you said, it's not just about someone eating people. It's it's a pretty uh, the scope of it is is pretty massive actually. It is and the it, ripple effect. Yeah, and and it's something that Ryan had been thinking about and for years, and um, because you know he, it's 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 something he wanted to to, to uh, put out there for a long time. And, and it showed a lot of thought and a lot of, um, it showed a point of view from his point, uh, from his part about this is what I want this to be. Uh, not, not, you know, not a, a thrill seekers miniseries about a guy who eats people, but um, 
just the humanity of the, of, of the, the how many lives he destroyed. And you said you didn't know much about or anything about uh, Lionel Dahmer. No. How did you prepare for the role? Did you do a lot of research or did you just let what was on the scripts be your, your guide? Well, I read the book, um, A Father's okay. Story. I, I read that immediately um, after I said, yes, I would do it. Uh, I think uh, at, Ryan told me that there is a book. And so I read that. And um, that was that was really interesting. But, you know, the, and, and a lot of the script was like the book. Um, but, you know, you, you, you have to, you, you really have to, the only really real clues you have are what's on the page what's there on this in the script. I mean, that's where all of the information comes from. But but I would say that that book was helpful. Um, uh, and just to get a perspective from Lionel Dahmer, uh, from his point of view about things. So, and, and I think they used a lot of the book for the, uh, for the screenplay. I think that, I know they did, but uh, you know, that's where a lot of the information came from. Yeah, that's got to be a great benefit because you actually get inside his head, you know, where everybody else it's interpretations. But, you know, this guy put several hundred pages out of his self-analysis, of his read of the, his own situation and what he wanted people to see. Yeah, but at the same time, you, it's just because he wrote it doesn't necessarily mean it's true. Huh, true. In, in the sense that you don't know how much of this is. I mean, I, I felt it was a pretty honest book. Um, but, you know, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. He changes so many times. He, he kind of morphs into other things and, and he takes responsibility and then he doesn't. And then he does. And then he, he you know, I, I mean, he, even in the book, he'll, you know, take really responsibility for a lot of this. And then he'll say, you know, that, that he and Jeffrey had a, an appendectomy and he, he had too much anesthesia, I think, you, you know, I mean, it's that. And, and I understand it. And that's, I think, why I loved it, because it's so human. It's not crystal clear of what he was thinking, even though he wrote the book. Um, I, I think he tried. I think he did. And absolutely, the thing about the book is it's beautifully written. And he wrote it himself. Nobody, he didn't have a ghostwriter. He wrote it. And it's absolutely beautifully written. Uh, it, it's it's a good read. It's a really good read. And, and, and it's, it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking. He goes through so many different stages. I mean, I don't know if it's grief or what, but it's he's got anger, denial. He blames himself. Um, do you think he ever truly does accept it? And if he if he does, was he able to move on like, going forward beyond the book? I don't know. I mean, that's something. You know, series is over. I don't. I, you know, the thing is, I don't know. I, I I don't know. I think it's probably it's still. I I don't know. I I would hate to speak for him. I, I have no idea. Yeah, that's right. how it feels, you know. Um, but if it was me, I don't think I would ever let that go of, of I, it was my fault. I mean, I, yeah. I, I think for me, that would be the thing that stayed with me forever. I, I hope he has. I hope he has. Because, you know, he's a good man. He's a really good man. And, and he loved his son. And he, he wasn't a great father growing up. But it, it was, you know, and, and he wishes he could do things over again. But um, we all do. You know, he he uh, he admits it in the book that he was away a lot. He didn't, you know, he didn't pay the attention yeah. his son needed. He didn't give him the kind of attention his son needed. And I think that that's in the miniseries. And I think it's actually quite beautiful that, you know, I mean, he was afraid that his son was going to tell him that he was gay and he didn't want to hear that. And so he stopped his son from telling him because it made him uncomfortable about his fantasies, which were weird and not, he, I mean, Jeffrey knew there was something going on there, but his father didn't want to hear it. So, you know, for a father to admit that, that shows some kind of real um, introspection that's, that's really human. I, I use that word a lot in my life. <laughs> hey, I mean, it, it makes sense. It's it's the game we're playing. Yeah. Um, it's a it's a very complex situation, and you know, as a parent, if your kid does hideous things, it, it proposes these questions like, 
when are you, can you turn off being a parent? Can you ignore that side of them and move on and forgive or, or whatever it is in, in order to remain as a family? And we're seeing that today with, with, these, with these mass shootings. Uh, I just saw a couple of parents whose son went into a, a bank, I believe, and it's got the, this incredibly tough um, hill to climb just to know when you get to the top, do you like what you find there? Do you know, maybe, you know, so when you're watching him uh, or, or creating this character or, you know what I'm saying, uh, playing Lionel, uh, how did your perception change from, you know, pre uh, the series and, and after of who he was and, and how he saw himself? Well, I, I really like this guy. I really like this guy. I, I, and, and I like him because he never stopped loving his son. And I think that's the question for me playing this is if he's your, if he's Jeffrey Dahmer's your son or, or if, uh, you know, these mass shooters, are your, what do you do as a parent? Do, mm -hmm. do, do you, do you start to hate them? Do you start, do you stop loving them? You, no, you, I don't. No, I don't think you do. Um, and that makes it even harder. You know, it would be easy just to, you know, to, to feel like everybody else does about your, your son. Everybody is, Lionel Dahmer is really the only one who loved him in this, his, his mom and, and Lionel, um, you know, loved Jeffrey Dahmer. And so that it's, it's weird. I mean, his father still cries about him today. I saw a little interview with him and he still teared up. Um, and I think that's that's kind of beautiful, and I think it's just part of who you are as a parent. Uh, it's just in your, it's just who you are. You can't, you can't. He's still your son, mm -hmm. and uh, it's heartbreaking. It's absolutely heartbreaking because for the rest yeah, of this, this, you're, you're Jeffrey. I'm sorry, I just said it's heartbreaking. In the rest of your life, you're Jeffrey Dahmer's father. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, so. Yeah, there's no off switch to turn off that parental instinct. No, you know it's. I mean, you hate what he did. It disgusts you. It 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 pissed him off. I mean, he was just so angry, and 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 yet at the same time, then I you know I I don't know. I mean, I I think that this character was so complex, and and I think it was. I I say to the writers of of uh, Dahmer that they really found the humanity in this guy. Because he was, uh, he was, you know, uh, uh, he was a an ocean of contradictions, which is what we all are. There's no, I mean, we're just usually in movies and television, we're not. We're just one or two things. This guy was, you know, and you, you could say, wait a minute, did, did, didn't you just say that? Wait a minute, you, you're not, you're contradicting. He did that like a human being, like we all do, and. Um, you know, that's, he had a lot to digest. You know, he had a lot to figure out. He had a lot to deal with. He had a lot to overcome. Um, and uh, so I, I just think that they, I think the writing is so, so fabulous. This. Yeah, it, it's so strong because it, even as a, as a viewer, it's conflicted and you're watching and then you're kind of, I mean, you're feeling for this man as a father, even as, even for, for uh, Jeffrey Dahmer toward the end, you're, Starting then, to strip right. away the monster and see the person behind, and yeah, wait and, a second. I don't, I don't know yeah. if I feel yeah. right, even you know, feeling my true feelings. I know it's uh, it's like people got angry about that, you know. Uh, but all it was trying to do was to say, this is complicated. This is not. This is not just you know he, Jeffrey Dahmer jokes. He ate people. You know, what I mean that. Um, this this guy's this guy spread misery everywhere he went. And and you know that affected lives forever, not just the victims. I mean, the, but the victims' families, his family. You know, they deal with this for the rest of their lives, and have no answers. You know, so I just think it was. I just think you know, Ryan took this story that we all thought we knew, and um, found a new something new to say about it. And, you know, I mean, I've heard people say, do we need another uh, show about him? We don't need anything, really. I mean, but uh, uh, that doesn't mean that that if you have something to say, you shouldn't say it. Mm -hmm. and, and you always have the option to not hit play. You know, that's, yeah, absolutely. 
but yeah. that's there for you. And a lot, uh, of, people, a lot of people have it. I mean, a lot of people, I, I have, I have friends who say, I, I just, I can't, I just, I can't, you know, it's okay. It's, it's okay. I, I'll admit I, I was in that boat. My wife was watching it and I'm like, I don't know if I can, if I can take it. Um, and then I said, oh, I'm going to step in and, you know, was just amazed by, you know, and really pulled in by uh, the perspective it was taking, you know, became, it was, it is very hard to watch. It's, I mean, it's heart wrenching at times. It's, it's horrific. It's stomach turning. It's sad. It's everything, but uh, it is, you know, going again to the word human, but it's a human story. And it's not just, it's not glorifying any crime. It's not glorifying um, Dahmer as a, as a, a person or his actions. It's, but it's allowing you to, to take it in and kind of interpret it and, and, and take it, you know, just take a new look at it because it's been 30 years and you can just say Dahmer and everyone already has complete judgment, you know, like you said, punchlines and everything. It just, the conversation ends before it starts. And this kind of reopens that conversation and allows us to, uh, to reassess. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, it's, you know, but I get it. Somebody, if it's too much, I get it. You know, you, oh, yeah. Yeah. But I, I mean, for me, it was really fascinating. Uh, and as a father, it was really, um, you know, I, I understand that. And, and I, and I love the contradictions in the, in the movie. Um, I just thought they were, they, they were clearer and made, and made it, and made it, um, I'm use this word again, more human, but people always people want to know. Well, why did well? I I never knew why. Why didn't you do the? Why didn't you this? Didn't you said this and then you said? I mean, it's like I don't know what that is. I, uh, this this it, you know um, sometimes there are no answers to anything. It's just let's look at this. Let's look at these people and see how their lives were affected and changed. You know, and first of all. Art and is not there to give answers. It's not. It's just. It's there to um, exist, and, and mm -hmm. you know, um, uh, well, what's the term? It's there to. Uh, it, it should inspire questions. Well, it should. It should do that, and um, it should. It should touch you on a level that is. Mm -hmm subconscious that 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 may lead you to things to understand things and to but but it's a job of 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 art or even like anything that it's not to 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 answer questions i i've never seen it where, where it does and the ones that do it's like oh, come on you know they try to uh, yeah uh, that that's when you get characters with with this one's good this one's bad this one's this one's wishy-washy. This one, I mean, it, 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 they're easily defined, and you know, oh, I know what mm -hmm. this is saying. But I mean, I, you know, I've had people say to me, "I didn't know what." So, what was it about? Okay, no, I don't know how to answer that. I, I don't. <clears throat> Not that you've asked that, but I, it has been. Yeah, 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 totally. Um, so you know, when it's all said and done, the camera stopped rolling. There's, there's this very horrific. You know, it's there's a lot going on. Uh, was it easy to shake or is it, is it difficult to shake is my real question after the, it's all said and done because you know you this isn't a surface level this as we you mentioned that you get into the the mind of this this man and and the like more in depth into you know the, the whole situation so I, I can't imagine it I, I haven't stopped thinking about it it's still rolling in my brain what's mm -hmm. it like for you no, it, it no, it, it isn't hard. To, they, if, they, if it was, they would put you away. You, you know, I mean, I mean, there's, there's, there's a. If you feel like you've gone somewhere interesting, and and maybe something that's you've done something that's true in a scene. I mean, there's a, there's a. It's a good feeling, no matter what the scene is. You know, it's like you're doing your job. And uh, no, I, I. It doesn't mean that while you're doing it there wasn't there were tough days and hard days and th days that you had to go places you weren't sure where you were going or what was going on but that's kind of the excitement of it and the fun of it all um uh but no no it's uh 
you know, it's over once it's over for me. And either I either I I'm I like it or I don't. You know, it's that one of those things. Say, well, that I think I did okay, or or, or I sucked. And and that's what you don't like is, is when, when you feel like hey, I just didn't, didn't I didn't I didn't go where I needed to go. <clears throat> but so all of that uh, mental journey is all happens pre and during shooting, and then you can just yeah, I mean, walk I mean, away. it's yeah, it's it's yeah. I mean, it's it's what you do. I mean, again, if you if you didn't do if you did that every time you did a role, you would you wouldn't be, you'd be in a you'd be institutionalized. I mean, after a while, it would be, uh, you know. Uh, and 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 I mean, some people some people you know really need to do to find and go and I mean that's fine. That's great if it works for them. You know, they're not doing it to be hard on you or anybody else. They're doing it because they feel it helps. So everybody has their own way of of figuring this out. There's no just one way, but but I have found that that um, um, that there's even a, there's a kind of joy in even the worst situations that if you can make it alive and that 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 there's there's a joy in that. I did my job, you know. Well, you've been delivering amazing work. Uh, six feet under uh, the shape of water. And I mean, so many before and after uh, the humans, it's it's great to see. And, and I think you're you're nailing, you, you should be proud uh, and, and proud of this work as well. And I look forward to seeing what you, what you do next. I wanna finish with a, just a quick question. Three words to describe Lionel Dahmer. Um, sincere. Um, loving and um, sincere, loving, and um, let's use my favorite word, human. <laughs> I like it. Thank you so much for your time and uh, congratulations on your work in the series and best of luck going forward. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. It's nice meeting. Nice meeting you. Mm -hmm.